Shamai GTA chums, the gun van is in the game, which means you can buy the railgun. The gun van is here, it's this little van symbol, I'll just zoom on in on it so you can see exactly what it looks like. And that is currently where it is at this, um, what is it, um, the power station. So you go to this kinky guy here and you purchase the weapons. Got a knife there, that looks nice doesn't it, like a Rambo knife. And we've got some sewing kit in the back to sew yourself up, uh, in the butt. So we've got a few weapons, but it's really the railgun, and so they're not even marked to these weapons there, but there it is, 657,000 for the railgun, because it's discounted. 900 grand for two rounds, normally it's a 1,000, so when you, um, you can buy extra rounds by going to your menu when you're in the session. And I think we're going to pick a nice gold colour, I think that would suit it nicely. You can get other weapons, the throwables, the Molotov, Proximity Mine and Grenade, apparently. Well, the Molotov is something you can't buy elsewhere, so there we go. If you want to buy that, if you're dead to buy that, then crack on, come here and get it purchased. Um, armor, etc. So, what is the railgun like? Let's blow some stuff up, let's get it sorted out. I'm on a roof here, get this helicopter blown up. Sayonara. And it's pretty much instant, as soon as you close in. It is an instant insta-kill, so let's get another one. See you later, chum. And then, further down below, as we can uh, search for some traffic. Decent enough range on it, but realistically, you don't want to get to the point where um, you're beyond the size of your reticle. Um, but there we go, look at that. That is that is probably as good as the range gets. Also, if you're trying to blow up a, a player in session, and they're driving a lot faster than this, then it is particularly tricky. Because you've got to lead the round. Next, we're going to be shooting some stuff at the military base just to show you it blowing up. A cargo plane C-130 there, and there's a laser, another laser. It's really good at blowing those lasers up and those hydras. I was trying to find lasers and hydras in session, um, but to bl demonstrate blowing one of those up, but unfortunately that's not going to come in. I'll tell you that now. Reload time is pretty slow though, so you notice that it's um, taking its time. So it's definitely not something that you're going to use in PvP against players. Um, because it's not going to kill every player in one go. Look at that guy, he's dead. Um, also, if you miss them, it's very easy to miss. But yeah, you should be able to kill them in, a, in one go. It's got a good blast range radius as well. Um, so similar to the explosive rifle, maybe a bit better. Um, and you can um, properly blow stuff up. We're going to show um, some aircraft flyby, see if we can blow an aircraft up. Now, there's a delay in timing. It's like it's a bit like a really fast bullet rather than... Well, like, like a railgun, it's a projectile, isn't it? It's not instant, basically. Look at this buzzard helicopter coming towards us. Now, part of this is uh, user error, I think, trying to lead the target, but... This chum is doing his best to give us a chance to get killed, uh, get him killed, but look at that, can't even hit it. Um, very, very tricky to try and lead the target. Other YouTubers, you know, they blast it off, but I'm showing you somebody average, so for people who are worried about getting griefed by this thing, just fly right by them and just ignore them, or fly exceedingly high, as I will show you at the end, because flying high, they're going to find it very difficult to hit you when you're high. However, the explosive sniper rifle still exists, so they will be most likely hitting you. And I'll show you the, ch the, chain the difference between that in a minute. Look at that. Lovely. Another one blown up. Um, these police helicopters do hover and make it very easy for you, though, so just bear that in mind. Now, let's see the difference between the explosive sniper. Um, the good news about the railgun is that um, it blows stuff up a bit quicker, so watch this, one, one shot, two shot. Um, but the thing is it's instantaneous pretty much, um, you don't need to lead the rounds as much as you do with the railgun. So there we go, two shots yet again. Um, so over, back to the railgun and we're going to blow some more stuff up. So down here we have some more cars, so I'll lead it off in the distance. You can zoom in as well to um, get the reticle a bit closer, a bit chubbier. But we're just uh, freestyling it at the moment. Um, it's very good for blowing cars up generally, I think, as long as they're not the armoured variety. I didn't get any tanks out at the uh, at uh, Zancudo, unfortunately. But um, they'll take a while to blow up, probably. A few shots. But it's still decent. You know, it's, it's still a good weapon. For the price, it's an absolute bargain. 
Um, so people say you can get it for free. Well, people have get it for free. I've seen it on YouTube. Um, but you need to do a mission to do that. And as soon as you go to KO Perico, it disappears. So I assume it'll disappear when you do KO Perico because you've not bought it. Because you've got it using a glitch. Um, um, so, yeah, by all means, try that method. But if you want to keep it for good, then maybe just buy it. I've just bought it. It's easy. I didn't even do the glitch because I don't really want to get uh, banned. Not not that you'll necessarily get banned. A lot of people have done it. But who knows? Who knows what um, Rockstar do with their ban waves? Who knows how they're going to treat the players? I'd say probably not. Looking at their GTA 6 and they're, they've got, they're, bu they're busy with other stuff. Um, you want to buy the ammo? There it is. Full ammo. You just do it from your ammo menu. So nice and easy. And every every shot costs you 500 euros. Just bear that in mind. So answer is, do you want to buy it? Yes. The answer should be yes. But it shouldn't be the first weapon you buy. I would use it for griefer defense for the for the uh, poisonous the hydra and the laser if they're doing a di inner dive at you right coming right at you which they will be doing yeah and you aim at them and shoot them they're coming at you they're aiming at you so there's a good chance you're going to blow them to smithereens so this i would say is something for defense rather than attack and this will demonstrate why noobs are never going to hit you when you're flying at height Exactly. I, I'm a noob. Exactly. So like, subscribe if that's been useful, etc. But yeah, just go and get hold of this and try it out for yourself. If you, if you can afford it, if not, do the old... Well, it's up to you to risk the glitch. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.